Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So is there anyone out there, <clears throat> excuse me, still using a Moto X on KitKat? So there's a, a huge thing in, in uh, about KitKat and Lollipop and uh, Jose Santana, man, he's a uh, he has the Moto X and he upgraded to wow, look at that. As soon as I <laughs> that was not planned, uh, just so you know. And what I was gonna say was Jose uh, Santana, he has a Moto X, uh, custom Moto X, or just a Moto X, period. And he upgraded to 5.0 and he has some issues with certain applications. And Jose, if you're watching, man, shout out in the comments and uh, reiterate reiterate what the what the issues are that you're having on Lollipop. So this is my second Moto X, and when I got this one, I decided I'm gonna stay on uh, KitKat as long as I can. But as you can see, as soon as I started the video, um, this popped up. It pops up uh, several times a day. Um, so if there's a way to stop this from popping up, somebody leave, let me know in the comments. Um, but this pops up, <clears throat> excuse me, every couple of hours, I guess, throughout the day. And I'm glad it happened right here on video. Totally didn't know that was going to happen. So, uh, but is there an advantage for staying on KitKat? Uh, KitKat is very fluid, very smooth. Uh, but is Lollipop smoother? Is Lollipop stable? In my experiences, Lollipop was really stable on my Nexus 6. But at the same time, I had an issue with cloud print on the Nexus 6. I don't have that issue on the the this moto x right here on kitkat and i didn't have it on my other moto x that i up actually upgraded to lollipop um i just didn't have that issue so uh with that being said is there anybody out there that is actually still on lollipop <clears throat> excuse me still on um kitkat and do they think it's uh it runs better uh, than lollipop there are a few design tweaks in the t in the um no notification bar that are different like let's just say um if i turn off wi-fi here when you turn off wi-fi it'll say 4g lte right there there it is again in this video so i'll just do no maybe later for now uh but if you see in the 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 bar up there it says 4g lte i actually think that's a pretty nice uh logo or design in in the in the software but when you upgrade to lollipop that disappears also, I think my T-Mobile uh, branding up here from the on, in the the uh, carrier logo up there, I think it disappears too. So uh, little design aspects like that. Some people say they don't like the buttons on Lollipop. Um, I personally, I like them both, but um, I don't know why they chose to do like a zero, a little circle at the bottom, and the square over here. We know what these things mean, uh, but the the back arrow looks good. I guess, um, but there's obviously there's more to an update than the way it looks, uh, but that is important to some people. So with mine still on Lolly on KitKat, I'm wondering if I should just stay on KitKat and how long can I actually get away with this before it actually, see now it used to search and it's just ready. Um, but it, it seems like, um, the little small things, tweaks here and there. Uh, some people had uh, issues with their um, with their YouTube application. Uh, the only thing I had issues with on on Lollipop is cloud print, and I didn't have it on my Moto X. I had it on my Nexus Six, uh, it, and also um, I kept getting a crash. I forgot which one it was. Um, I was getting a cloud print, and oh, Chrome, Chrome. I had a problem with Chrome on on Lollipop on my Nexus Six. So was it the Nexus 6 or was it the software? Which is it? Lollipop um, uh, is fast. I mean, it, it works very well. I really like it. Uh, but I'm kind of contemplating, hey, I don't want to upgrade my Moto X to Lollipop. And then, you know, you can't go down. And I start to have all these issues with my, um, my Moto X after I upgrade to Lollipop. So that's the question I had. I just wanted to make a quick video and see, is there anybody out there that's still on Lollipop? Excuse me, I keep saying, is, is there anybody still on KitKat that has not upgraded to Lollipop uh, on their 2014 Moto X? 
Uh, and if you did upgrade, are you having any issues with your YouTube application or cloud print or Chrome or just any of those issues uh, that, is, that is happening to some people out there? So let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.